Challenge for homeschool literacy partnerships is to involve families in enjoyable and meaningful writing and reading activities, allowing children to choose a literacy bag that interests them and contains opportunities to read, listen, and play is great for motivating them to practice skills they will use later in their literacy development. Studies have demonstrated that even modest literacy promoting interventions can significantly enhance a young child's early literacy environment by increasing the frequency of parent-child book sharing activities. A well-planned literacy bag is one tool for providing resources, not only for practicing the skills of emergent literacy, but also providing opportunities to engage in the important social aspect of literacy. First, plan with purpose. Make the development and use of the bags intentional in planning and execution. Knowing the developmental stage, interests, experiences, and literacy levels of individual and groups of children is a good starting point. While the most obvious goals related to using literacy bags might be tied to language arts and language development, it is helpful to remember that all developmental domains are involved in the quest to become literate. Ask yourself, why am I creating the bags? What goals do I have for children and or families who will be using this resource? How will materials and activities be tied to short and long-term child and program plans? How will I ensure that materials will be developmentally appropriate? How will use of the bags be tracked and assessed? Have I considered other developmental domains when constructing these literacy resources? And finally, what should the bags contain? Here are some ideas. Books with varying formats, old favorites and new finds. Books do not need to be new, including gently used books encourages children to become more familiar with classroom resources and to consider the positive results of recycling. Developmentally appropriate activities including pictures to color, dot to dots, phonics and math games, letter trace and write sheets, interactive mini books and puppet patterns. Include a small game related to the theme or specific skill development. A surprise, for example, stamping materials, miniature, plush book character, or other props tied to the themes of the bags are good. And then a journal to pass from student to student with themed writing paper. Then finally, package it with pizzazz, selecting a method for getting materials to and from home must be a thoughtful process. Children will often choose a bag by its colorful theme-related fabric print. Like all new skills, teach students how to use and care for the materials. Do you have a quick and easy way to monitor the check-ins and check-outs? Decide how long the children can keep the bags at home. Having them due on the same day every week is easier for them to remember. And finally, follow up and use feedback. Research suggests that family perceptions of early childhood education programs and staff are critical to ongoing involvement. Positive relationships and productive engagement in program activities are more likely to occur when families are provided multiple opportunities to be part of shaping the services offered to them. Facilitating formal and informal outlets for dialogue with parents about the effectiveness and usefulness of the literacy bags conveys the message that their insights and ideas are important. Ask parents to complete a questionnaire or seek feedback at conference time 
to drive improvement and success of your choices for materials and activities used in the bags. Have students share their favorite bags and explain why they liked it. Show your enthusiasm for the literacy bags. Your students will find it contagious.